Parshat Parshat Peshalach, we not only find about the miraculous Kriyat Yam Suf and the subsequent song that Bnei Yisrael sing, henceforth the Shabbat, also known as Shabbat Shira, but we also hear of the continued path that Am Yisrael take on their way to Har Sinai. As Chazal explained, even though Am Yisrael could have received the Torah right after Yitziat Mitzrayim, Adayin lo bazi ban shabanai. They're not sufficiently nourished physically nor spiritually in order to prepare them to properly accepting the Torah. And therefore, right after Kriyat Yam Suf, they continue along their path, firstly to Mara, where they find bitter waters, only to be turned miraculously into sweetened waters, pending on Sham Sam Lochoku Mushpat Vesham Yisahu. HaKadosh Baruch Hu teaching Am Yisrael that they will forever receive their staples, their water, on the condition that they also follow the mitzvot of the Torah. And thereafter, they continue on to Elim and then to Midbar Sim. Now it's exactly a month since Yetiat Mitzrayim, and they approach Moshe and Aaron, the dynamic duo whom we haven't seen since commanding Am Yisrael with regard to Karban Pesach. And Am Yisrael complain, Mi yitain muteinu biyat Hashem be'eretz Mitzrayim, b'shivteinu al sir habasar, b'ochleinu lechem lasova, ki yotzeitim otanu al hamidbar hazeh, lamit et kol hakahal hazeh bara'ab. They miss their meat meal, not their daily meals in Mitzrayim, but literally their last supper of meat, the supper of Karban Pesach with Matzot, wondering whether or not HaKadosh Baruch Hu has the power to once again provide them with food that will save them, not just from Makat Bechorot, but also catalyze their process of redemption. To which HaKadosh Baruch Hu answers, in fact, yes, I'm going to provide you with the man in a very similar fashion as Hashem had provided them a month earlier with the Karban Pesach, namely accompanied by mitzvot. So just as they weren't allowed to leave any of the Karban Pesach over till the next morning, so to the man, just as they had to pre-apportion the amount of Karban Pesach per family member, so too Omer la Gilgolet, just as they had to sensitize themselves to this new lunar calendar, on a monthly basis as they counted the days leading to the slaughtering of the Pesach, so too now they have to sensitize themselves to counting six days, and then on the seventh day Shabbat, just as by Karban Pesach they weren't allowed to leave their homes, so too on Shabbat, just as the Karban Pesach was a Mishmeret, the man as well. HaKadosh Baruch Hu teaching Am Yisrael that even as they leave the culture of Mitzrayim of Chametz and then go on to Matzah, they have to recognize that the man is in fact lechem and hashamayim, they're leaven from heaven. And the Torah tells us that this man is going to be consumed by Am Yisrael ad bo'am elksei Eretz Kana'an. As soon as they get to Eretz Kana'an, they're going to go back to matzah eating and eventually eat the chametz of the land, appreciating on a daily basis that the lechem min ha'aretz is in fact lechem min hashamayim. On the eve of Tu B'Shvat, this is exactly the message that we need to remind ourselves of, internalizing the daily brachot that we receive from HaKadosh Baruch Hu, wherein all the fruit of the lands are in fact blessings of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Lechem and Hashemayim, pending on our appreciation of our responsibility in this relationship of keeping the mitzvot so that we can continue to appreciate the bounty of Eretz Yisrael. Shabbat Shalom, Tu B'Shvat Sameach.